Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of Compass software for access assessment. If you provide computer access services, Compass provides the clear evidence you need to make better decisions and document outcomes. In this video, we'll review the basic steps involved when working with Compass. Plan, where you define a specific measurable question. Configure, to select and configure the tests you need. Run the tests and interpret the results. Let's create an example scenario that we'll use to illustrate each step in the process. In this example, you're meeting a client named Steve Jones for the first time. He would like to start surfing the web and using email. Let's look at how you could use Compass to help determine the best pointing device for Steve. Here's the opening screen of Compass. Note that you can get some help by looking at the help bar at the bottom of the screen. First, create a spot to hold all of Steve's Compass data. Here we can choose the skill test to use with Steve. Make sure you have a clear, measurable question that you are trying to answer. In Steve's case, our question is, which pointing device provides Steve with the best speed and accuracy? To collect data to answer that question, Compass provides three skill tests related to pointing device use. We'll start with the most basic one, the AIM test which measures target selection. So let's select an AIM test and get some basic baseline information on how well Steve can use his current mouse. This test list shows all the Compass tests that we've stored for Steve. So far, it just shows the single AIM test, which is not yet completed. If we want to, we can configure the AIM test to adjust various aspects of the test presentation. But we'll just run this example with the default settings. To run the test, select it and click Run Test. This start screen provides some basic instructions, which you can go over with Steve. It also allows Steve to practice, which can be a good idea if he's never done the test before. When you and Steve are ready, click Start to begin the test. This is just like hitting the Start button on a stopwatch. As Steve selects the targets, Compass records the speed and the accuracy of his selections. Note that there's a maximum time for each trial. If a target is not selected by that time, Compass will automatically move on to the next target. At the end of the test, you can choose whether to view the results or just move on. Here, we'll review the report showing the results. This shows a summary of the results from the AIM test that Steve just did. And this layout is basically the same for all Compass tests. Over here, we see the settings for the test, such as the target size and distance, the number of trials, the input device used. Make sure the input device is set correctly, changing it here if necessary. Below, you can enter notes if desired to record various observations made during the test. The center table shows the average results. A key thing to note is the row for all AIM trials. Here, it shows that Steve took an average of 4.3 seconds to select each target. The other three columns show more details. For example, entries measures how many times the mouse cursor entered the target during each trial. A nice measure of accuracy is the percent of error-free trials. 
Here it shows that Steve selected 75% of targets using just one click. So overall this baseline data for Steve suggests that he is reasonably functional using his mouse, but that there is still some room to improve both speed and accuracy. You can also visit the data for each and every trial if desired by looking at the detailed report. For this demo though, we'll move on. During the baseline aim test, you probably got some ideas for alternative pointing devices that might be a better fit for Steve's needs. Perhaps you wonder whether a trackball might provide better performance for Steve. So our measurable question becomes more defined. Will a trackball provide better speed and accuracy for target selection than the standard mouse? To answer this question, we'll repeat the aim test, but ask Steve to use a trackball this time. Let's configure the new aim test to show the use of the trackball. When Steve's ready, run the new test. At this point, we can view the report as we did for the other test, but here's a really neat feature that makes it very easy to compare the mouse to the trackball results. Just select the tests you want to compare, then click Multi-Test Report. This report has four pages. This first page has a summary profile showing both speed and accuracy for the two AIM tests. Each test is represented by a single point on the graph. Tests with better performance are in the upper left of the graph, showing shorter time and better accuracy. In this case, the trackball test shows better performance. If you want to change the test names, you can do that when you configure the tests initially or in the single test report screen. The remaining two graphs on the report show accuracy and speed separately. Finally, specific numeric data and each test settings are provided in case you need to refer to them later. You can print this report or save it in either RTF or PDF format. When you're done with the multi-test report, just hit close. And that's it for our overview. We've demonstrated how to use Compass to make decisions about pointing devices. Similar principles apply to examining text entry and switch use as well. Thanks a lot for watching.